in the current era, individualizing treatment for breast cancer, or for all types of cancer, but breast cancer in particular, has become more and more important as we are better able to individualize treatment. In the old days, everyone got the same treatment. Nowadays, we try to individualize. Ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, is something that's interested me for a long time, and it's a little paradoxical, DCIS. It has, um, on the one hand, essentially no risk of metastatic disease and death, but it has a higher local recurrence rate in the breast than does invasive cancer. So it's sort of a funny entity, something that can't kill you and, can, and therefore isn't taken as seriously, yet has a higher rate of local recurrence. So in terms of saving the breast, it's it's often more of a problem than for invasive cancer. So with DCIS and this relatively high local recurrence rate, one thing that's interested me is in better estimating the risk of recurrence for an, in, for an individual woman so that we can individualize the treatment. The range of treatments for DCIS are very broad. The surgical treatments range from wide excision alone, wide excision with radiation, or with endocrine therapy like tamoxifen, all the way to mastectomy or even bilateral mastectomy. So there's a very broad range of surgical options or local regional op options. Um, so I figured if we could figure out a better way to estimate risk, a woman would be able to better align her values. Saving the breast is, is of great importance to her or maybe not having future biopsies or, or not having recurrences is of, or is of greater um, importance to her.